Saturday racing action here at Gulfstream Park featuring two Royal Palm Juvenile Stakes, one for the males, one for the females in races six and nine. They're competitive ones, and they will punch a ticket for one of these lucky trainers right into the Royal Ascot meet. Send it on up to Pete Aiello with the scratches and changes. Weather is beautiful, sunny skies, temperatures in the upper 80s. The main track is fast, the Tapita track is always fast, and the turf course is firm. <laughs> Racing at Gulfstream. Good start for Blue Torlin. AJ's memory was also quick and destroyed with Constitutionalist at their inside. They're three almost in line as they pass the wire the first time. Racing in fourth is Antrim, followed fifth by Connecting Flight. Then Amor Salvaje and Kill Kenny Bella. The early trailer is Ria Formosa. They haven't settled up front. Constitutionalist has rail position on the lead. AJ's memory is second. Three wide blue twirling is now third. A gap of three to Antrim and fourth. Followed fifth by connecting flight. Then a more Salvaje. Kilkenny Bella covered up down toward the inside. And at the back is Rio Formosa. Opening quarter was drilled here, posted in 22 and 3. They're rolling early. Constitutionalist having an early tussle with AJ's memory, their heads apart. Blue Twirlin is now racing on the outside third from fourth and connecting flight. Then it's Antrim together with Amor Salvaje lingering at the back kill Kenny Bella, but Leonel Reyes moves her to the clear to get a rally going, and the trailer is still Rio Formosa. That's the eight of them through a 47-second half mile. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. It's still Constitutionalist doing battle with AJ's memory. Blue Twirlin forcing AJ's memory to go, and she just went. AJ's memory now a length and a half in front as Blue Twirlin tries to catch up to her. A more Salvaje and kill Kenny Bella underway from the back. Kill Kenny Bella circling horses, white cap into third. At the rail, it's connecting flight. Plenty of hopes here. AJ's memory is under siege. Three quarters, 111 and four. They're at the top of the stretch. Kill Kenny. Bella down the center for Lionel Reyes going after AJ's memory who tries to find another gear. Amor Salvaje and loose late is Rio Formosa. Now kill Kenny Bella has hit the front with the 16th to go. AJ's memory trying to hold on for a slice. It's still kill Kenny Bella who's clear for the wire. Kill Kenny Bella by four in the end. Rio Formosa was second. Amor Salvaje third. AJ's memory empty late. She was fourth and 144 flat. Fire off and running. Arrow shape and ear to the roar, both off a step slow. Good start for Demurely, who heads off for the early lead. Danny Hill's going to try to go with him, or go with her, rather, and save inside position. She'll do just that. Danny Hill leads. Demurely is now second, working four ahead of Air to the Roar, who's the gray between horses. Out wide and arrow shape, down at the rail, Lexinator, and the trailer is winning at ease. Around the far turn at the three furlong point. Danny Hill leads by a length. Demurely is second, air to the roar, three wide third, four wide fourth arrow shape. Then it's Lexinator, closer at the back, is winning at ease. All six in with a chance here as they converge on Danny Hill. 22 seconds for the opening quarter. Danny Hill and Demurely kick on. Over the top, it's air to the roar, coming on from the back, winning at ease. Lexinator looks for room and comes on next. They come past the eighth pole. Air to the roar, tries to go get Demurely, who's still in front. Air to the roar and Demurely kick on. Lex Lexinator for a late say, final 16th of a mile. Air to the roar, Demurely. Air to the roars, getting up. Air to the roar wins. Second is Demurely, third is Lexinator, then Denny Hill, and winning at ease, 56 and four.
And they're off. From between horses, JR's pride away quickest and goes looking for the lead from his stablemate, Bourbon Therapy. No name dude is down toward the rail and Rocka Rocka Cruz is between horses. Grand McAllen is on the outside, then Midnight Getaway. Eventful's the early trailer. Loose up front, JR's pride. JR's pride pushing his chips all in early on here as he's open to five length lead. Trying to take up the slack. Second is No Name Dude, working two and a half better than Grand McAllen. He's now third. Bourbon Therapy with pace ahead of him. He's fourth toward the rail. Racka Racka Cruz begins to get underway with a three wide sweep under Elsa Morrison. Then back to Eventful in the trailer Midnight Getaway. And JR's pride is on the ropes. Here comes No Name Dude. Dude, up to take the lead, off the cover now. Rocka Rocka Cruz is continuing in momentum and in between horses, Bourbon Therapy. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Up front, No Name Dude trying to turn back. Rocka Rocka Cruz who shifts ground and No Name Dude is clear. At three to five, it's No Name Dude and Edwin Gonzalez to win it. Second, Rocka Rocka Cruz. Third was Bourbon Therapy. Fourth was Midnight Getaway, then Eventful, 56 and two. That's Solar Tap who comes out firing. Moving on the outside, it's Shipwreck to challenge in between horses. The gray starship wizard splitting rivals. Seberay won't be far away as they're stacked three across the course early. From the high draw, Bluto's Candy gets away mid-flight. He's only three lengths off the speed today. Saving ground is tap a term. Back from there, it's Just Praise with Sandy Dude a bit deep on the course. Bach is toward the back of the group and the trailer is Pluma Roja. And the run around the first turn, Solar Tap with rail position and the lead. Racing second is Seberay, three wide shipwreck third, Starship Wizard is fourth at the rail. On a hold fifth is Bluto's Candy, followed sixth by Tapa Term. Bach is seventh, eighth is Pluma Roja, ninth is Just Praise, and Sandy Dude is now tenth and last. The quarter time was just 25 seconds flat. Down the back stretch they continue, and doing battle up front, Solar Tap and Seberay their heads apart. On the far outside, it's Shipwreck, working between horses, Starship Wizard. Bluto's Candy is next, then it's back to Tap a Term. Bach is next, two better than a retreating Pluma Roja. Back to the inside and Just Praise, and Sandy Dude is last. 49-1 and one for the opening half mile, 5 16ths from home. Up front, Solar Tap by a length. Seberay is second, Starship Wizard is third. On the far outside, it's Bach trying to work into the clear as Bluto's Candy had to check for racing room. That gave room to tap a term who's down toward the rail. Three quarters, 13 flat, still plenty of hopes here. Off the turn in the stretch drive, Solar Tap, he turns for home on top. Trying to work to the clear is Jaw from the inside, tap a term, down the center in Starship Wizard, then Bluto's Candy, there's an eighth of a mile to go. Starship Wizard has rallied forward for the lead and he's a winner. He's seven to five and he's long gone. He's Starship Wizard in front. Good battle here for second, photo for second. Tap a term surging at Solar Tap. Bluto's Candy's fourth in 141 and one. Racing in the Rainbow Six. Crowding in the center gates. That uh, was Royal Kitten who floated out into Here Comes Bullet, who crowded pretty much at all the middle animals as they run out of the chute. So still drifting and still working out in the center. Rio's trying to straighten up Royal Kitten. He's in front. Off the flank of the leader in second is Here Comes Bullet. The North Remembers is now third. Rebelde is situated in early fourth. Up to fifth goes Attentive, saving ground at the inside. It's Small Reason. And it's a gap of four. The three at the back are Ghost and You, Texpectation, and Long Beach Kid. Loose up front. Royal Kitten is hard to handle, and he's in front by about five. Racing in second is Here Comes Bullet, sliding through at the rail. Small Reason now a joint third with the North Remembers on his outside. Mid-flight, both Rebelde and Attentive. And it's a gap of another four lengths back to Texpectation and Ghost and You. Still out the back, Long Beach Kid. 
Around the far turn they go. Morelos forced to move now on Here Comes Bullet as Panici sent the North Remembers into action, and they've reached the Royal Kitten. So at the three furlong point, here comes Bullet for a neck advantage. Royal Kitten's up for a fight. He's still second. Up to the outside, the North Remembers is now third. Back to fourth, Small Reason. Rebelde under pressure. He's going to have to go wide this time, but he's in high gear. A quarter of a mile remains. Here comes Bullet. He made first run, but he has work to do. From the outside, Rebelde takes aim toward the inside. Small Reason with three sixteenths remaining. Up front, here comes Bullet is in front with an eighth of a mile to get. Rebelde charging at him. Royal Kitten very game. Here comes Rebelde after the leader with his ears up. Here comes Bullet on the outside. Here's Rebelde. Here comes Bullet and Rebelde. Rebelde getting up. Rebelde in time. Rebelde beat. Here comes Bullet on the money in the starting leg of the Rainbow Sig. Racing and the Royal Pond Juvenile Stakes. Slow to start, both Zeno and Shotgun Pro. Quick to break was No Name Mets, who heads off for the early lead. Reaper has speed. Blast Furnace works between horses. Mattingly is with them. On the far outside, it's holding the line. They're going quickly early. With the advantage, No Name Mets, but only narrowly. Mattingly alongside in second. Blast Furnace is now third, together with holding the line in fourth. Reaper out sprinted today while back in fifth. A length and a half better than North Shore Drive. They've gone five ahead of Praiseworthy, then Zeno, Tiberian Sun, and Shotgun Pro as they race five sixteenths from home. Mattingly on the outside. No Name Mets on the rail. These two continue to trade punches. They're two and a half better than Blast Furnace, who's driven third. Off the turn and the stretch drive, the leader, No Name Mets, an eighth of a mile from home and two on top. Second is Mattingly down the center in Blast Furnace. The favorite, no, holding the line, not firing, but No Name Mets is clear to the finish. No Name Mets for Alex Bregman to win it and win it easy in the end. Three and a half clear. Second was Mattingly. Up for third was Zeno. Back to fourth was Blast Furnace and 57 and two. They're off and running. From the rail, Heart and Soul comes out firing. Mr. Peak's ridden hard to try to cling to him. They work a length better than Omni King, who's an early third. No speed from Delta Ta Chai and the trailer Macho 45. They make their way to the half mile point, and with rail position and the lead, Heart and Soul and Johnny V on top by a length over Mr. Peaks in second. These two going quickly. They've opened three on Omni King, who's now third. Delta Tao Chai is at the rail in fourth, and at the back is Macho 45. 
They whistled a quarter, 22 seconds flat, and Mr. Peaks is on the go now. Mr. Peaks getting serious under Edgar Perez and taking a clear lead. Heart and Soul is back to second. He's been softened up. A gap of five to Delta Tau Chai third, then Omni King and Macho 45. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. Coming out of the Florida Derby, Mr. Peaks trying to get that maiden diploma. He went 45 and three for a half mile, and he's well clear. At the inside, Delta Tau Chai takes up the slack second. Running home a bit from the back is Macho 45. He's green and looking for racing room, but inside the final furlong, Mr. Peaks is long gone. One to five proves easy money for Mr. Peaks and jockey Edgar Perez. They won by five in the end. Up for second, Delta Tau Chai. Up for third was Macho 45. Then Heart and Soul, 111 and two. They're off. Good start for Juno C, who's looking to get a clear lead. She's out of here, will have something to say about that and tries to hold her in the two path, away in third in Bella Romance, then tested positive in Ginger Sparkle. Down the back stretch they go. Juno C could not clear, she's out of here, who's up to challenge from the inside. Bella Romance joins the vanguard. Now these three across the course. Out in the center is Ginger Sparkle and toward the rail it's tested positive. Half a mile from the finish. The leader is Juno C, taken on now by Bella Romance through a 22 and 4 opening quarter. At the inside, she's out of here, holds rail ground, and tries to rebid for Morales, working three and a half better than Ginger Sparkle and tested positive. Inside three furlongs from home, she's out of here, got tightened up by Bella Romance and Juno C. Underway from fourth, Ginger Sparkle, only three lengths off the in battle duo. Tested positive trails, they're at the top of the stretch. Less than a quarter of a mile to come, and they're four across the course here. From the far outside, it's Ginger Sparkle, three wide, she's out of here. Juno C trying to fight back, Bella Romance is flattening out. There's an eighth of a mile to go, she's out of here, has the lead. Brittany Scampton and Ginger Sparkle run at the leader on the outside. Here comes Ginger Sparkle out in the center trying to reach. She's out of here. She's out of here. Clings to the lead. Ginger Sparkle with one more push. Here's the wire. She's out of here. She's out of here. Would not let Ginger Sparkle pass. And she wins narrowly. Up for third. Tested positive in 113 flat. And they're off in the Royal Palm Juvenile Phillies. Good start from the outside for Crimson Advocate, who heads off for the early lead. Buchera has speed from the rail. Ocean Mermaid gets away in the top light, and she's going after the leader. Racing up on the outside and in a bit tight is Turf Rocket. Saving ground is Kiss toward the rail. Then in between runners, it's the Myth. A gap of two and a half to Scootaloo and Gervin Star toward the back as they swing to the far turn. Up front, Crimson Advocate leads by two. Ocean Mermaid is second. Buchera is third. On the outside, my sweetheart Danny is now fourth. The Myth is next. Then Kiss. She has classes on the outside. Turf Rocket held up in traffic while nine lengths off the lead. 21 and four for the opening quarter. They're at the top of the stretch. It's Crimson Advocate in front. Ocean Mermaid is second. These two working clear of the others. Kiss at the rail. The Myth down the center. Final eighth of a mile. Crimson Advocate still finding here. Edwin Gonzalez for George Weaver. Here's a stake sweep for George Weaver. Here's Crimson Advocate in front. Ocean Mermaid fired but was second best. The Myth is up for third. Closer for fourth. Either Turf Rocket or my sweetheart Danny. 56 and 1.
Remigate. And runners away. Factor that away quickly, so was lend her credit. These two, the first two out for Moonshining away in third. Up on the outside, Starship Dynasty, she gets over to race in fourth. From the inside, Neo Gems tightened up a bit while second last, the trailer Domo Arigato, the leader, factor that. Edgar Perez and factor that, lead by two and a half. Lender credit is second, Moonshining is third, Newton Star in tight toward the rail. Starship Dynasty is three wide. A gap of another two and a half back to Lucky in Love. She's racing together with Kazillion. Then it's back from between to exclusive Joni. No Wasabi for me is on the outside. In tight toward the rail is Neo Gem as they head down the backstretch. Domo Arigato, last of the 11, factor that, first down the backside. 25 seconds, that's a reasonable opening quarter speed here for Factor That. They're leaving her alone, and she's on top by almost a length. Lender credits a bit closer in second. These two have gone three ahead of Starship Dynasty, who's together with Newton Star. Four wide, lucky in love, two path moon shining. Stuck in traffic. Here's a move from exclusive Joni, but she's got no place to go. Neo Gem has the same problem, no place to go, as Lender credit has got to Factor That, and she goes around the turn with a two length lead. Factor That on a rebid second. Five ahead of Newton Star, who's now third. Neo Gem swung to the center. Exclusive Joni picking it up between horses. Exclusive Joni looking for a three-path run, turning in. Factor that tries to get back after Lender Credit. These two kicks still well clear of Neo Gem, who's racing together with Exclusive Joni. Final 16th of a mile. Factor that. Lender Credit. Neo Gem charging hard. And the favorite is front and center. Neo Gem going away. Factor that second, exclusive Joni up for third. Lender credit flattened out badly. She was fourth. Starship Dynasty for the high five and 137 and two. That wraps up Saturday racing here at Gulfstream Park. We will be back tomorrow with nine races on the card at 12.50 post time. Good night.